Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing? Sorry about that. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining the Tales Tarot. I appreciate you guys clicking onto my video. I keep reminding you, it's a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with everyone. But please put a uh, take what resonates and what doesn't, leave it out, okay? Now, these cards keep falling, as you can see. This is going to be a reading for my Geminis. Some moon and rising, okay? So let's go ahead and, or Venus sign, it really doesn't matter. Um, let's see here, you guys. Let's see what's coming up for you guys. Alright, I'm going to get these cards here, so one moment. Alright, so... We have here healing begins. So it's a time for you guys to step out right now and just focus on healing at this time within the next week here. Alrighty. They're saying just breathe, just take a deep breath. Okay, things could be a lot worse, but definitely get back in touch with your spirituality here. Alright, so there's a need for you guys to just heal. When it comes to this next week here, shut my door. Thank you. Within this next week, you guys, okay? Now, I'm seeing that some of you could be experiencing some type of challenging times, okay? A situation you could have been dealing with, maybe with a one or lose situation here. And you was you feeling like, okay, they're, ooh, 5'5", five, five, you guys, 5'5". Five, five. So there's going to be a significant change in the situation, okay? I'm definitely seeing there could be some type of challenging times once clarity here is revealed within your situation, okay? And there's going to be need for someone to heal and just take a deep breath. Okay, look at cer a certain thing or a lesson as a spiritual, you know, lesson here. Okay, so definitely something's going to wake someone up here. There's going to be some type of change. All right, coming up within the next week. Solar plexus chakra. This is going to have you feeling the need to reach out to spirit, reach out to God. Okay, whoever you believe in and ask them, you know, what does this mean to me? Why was this? Why did this happen? Or why this is occurring in my life? Okay. Yes, throat chakra, okay? There's a need for you to speak. There's a need for you to open up. There's a need for you to, you know, express what it really is that you need to express here within the next week, okay? You need to go with the flow here, okay? When it comes to your surroundings or the people that you could be dealing with, all right? Because something is definitely a win or lose situation. Either you're going to win it or you're going to lose it, okay? What are you going to do here, Gemini? Now, let's see what else. Let's see what else is coming up for my Geminis within the next week here. What is coming up for my Geminis? <laughs> it just went on ahead, came on out. So, once again, you need to go with the flow when it comes to this nor uh, next week here, okay? Communicate clearly, all right? Express what it is that you want to express, whether that with people, person, foundation, child, what have you. But you d there's a need for you to heal, okay? One more darkest fears it's something that you're fearing here gemini you're afraid to challenge your fears whatever fear that you have whatever you're thinking about you're definitely going to manifest it so if you're thinking negatively please change your change uh change your thoughts okay change your focus Alrighty, because whatever you're fearing this this doesn't have to be you gemini this could be someone that you are dealing with okay that could be feeling this way so somebody definitely is in some type of regret some type of fear here of maybe opening up or maybe going with the flow or somebody just afraid that they're going to be going through challenging times when it comes to a certain situation but there's a need for someone to just take a step back breathe get tap back and tap with god get closer to god and your spirits and you know healing is going to begin after that okay so let's go and get let's go ahead and get into the tarot All right, let's see what's coming up. For my Gemini. What's coming up for my Geminis? What's coming up for my Geminis? What's coming up for my Geminis? I see the King of Cups, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. Okay. So you, some of you could be in a loving energy. Maybe when it comes to a queen of wands here, you know, some of you could be tapping into that energy, that energy of, you know, just standing up for yourself, standing in your power here, okay? Or, you know, just not underestimating yourself when it comes to a significant change in your life, all right? Some of you could definitely, um, somebody could not want to let you go, Gemini, or vice versa, okay? Yeah, it could be, well, we have a, we have a pair here. This could be a twin flame, okay? 
So we have the King and the Queen of Wands here. I'm definitely seeing the King of Wands here. This Aries Leo Sagittarius doesn't have to be that side. Or this just could be you stepping into this power here, Gemini. But it's like, some of you can have this in your chart too. But it's like, you know, somebody's trying to make a decision. But I'm seeing that maybe this Queen of Wands here, she's holding back. Okay, she's not really opening up. Where somebody, this King of Wands could be wanting to keep this particular person. But they're trying to make a decision on what to do. Let me see. Yeah, somebody's in regrets because somebody definitely put something to rest here. Definitely let something go here. Somebody could have left their divine counterpart alone. Okay, maybe somebody wasn't giving the way they were supposed to give in this situation. Okay, there was more taken than there was receiving out of the situation. Yeah, or maybe somebody could see that you could be getting to a new situation here. With the Six of Pentacles to the Two of Cups. Yeah. See, somebody's taking action and moving forward. Maybe with Cancer here. Or just taking action, period, and moving on with their life. Hold on. Do you know? I'm, I'm doing something. One second. And sorry about that, guys. <laughs> they know what I'm recording. Don't be coming out on that. Oh, Lord. Anyway. So, some of you definitely are moving forward, taking action here. All right? If somebody could have betrayed you. Ooh. I'm definitely seeing that. So, Ten of Cups, some of y'all definitely moved on maybe to a water sign with the King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. And some of you could have been dealing with the King of Wands, your divine counterpart, but you ended up putting that to rest. Okay? Or this King of Wands here is thinking about putting this situation to rest. So, who have, who have you? This King of Wands or this Queen of Wands putting some to rest here. They're wanting to give and take to a new partnership. Okay? Somebody that fulfills them here. So they're definitely taking action when it comes to someone here. Like I said, it could be a cancer, any other water sign. And this is going to leave somebody very heartbroken here. It's going to leave somebody heartbroken. Okay? Somebody definitely feeling that pain. Options. Somebody could have had a lot of options. And that's what caused the separation. This divine male or divine female. You know, put a where it fits. Um, could have had a lot of people. Could have had a lot of suitors. And somebody got tired. Decided to move on maybe to a new connection or just decided to move on period in general and leave the situation behind because this person was confused. They had a lot of people, a lot of suitors, and somebody didn't, they was like, I'm the divine feminine or I'm the divine masculine. I'm not about to sit up here and wait on you to stop messing around. Yep. Look, look what we have. We got a lot of people up in here. Okay. Somebody could have been dealing with, um, uh, like I said, uh, this is a, a feminine note, okay? Queen of Cups here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Somebody definitely is like, I'm loving. I have love to give. Somebody definitely wants to reunite with this person, okay? Yes, somebody wants a new beginning with this person. Or this person is taking on a new beginning, okay? Definitely. They want to start something new here. They're not looking back. Somebody feel like they have already invested enough time. Wow, you guys. Wow. Like, I'm like, Wow. We have two different pairs here. What the what? Wow. So I'm getting definitely for some of my y'all. I'm getting for some of my um my, my Gemini's. Some of you definitely could have been dealing with a divine partner part, but that person could have a lot of options, so you left them to. To go with a soulmate, somebody that's also on your level, somebody that also has, you know, love to give here, and you're moving on to them. Okay, or this person is moving on to the, wow. Ooh, somebody, wow. <coughs> Excuse me. Whoever this woman is, Gemini, this is you. Or Gemini, you the masculine, and you're after this woman. I see why. This woman has a lot of suitors, but I think this woman has chosen. Okay? This woman is really taking an action towards somebody here. And it could be her soulmate. Okay? And she's letting her divine counterpart go. Okay? She's letting her twin flame masculine divine go. And she's going towards her soulmate. That's what I'm getting. Okay? This empress here, this... this this divine being, we don't have the emperor. If we had the emperor, I'll be like, okay, like, but wow. What's the overall? Okay, 
So, we have here a Leo. This could be a Leo Swords card. We have the Page of Pentacles. And then we have the King of Swords. So, maybe an air sign or a fire sign on Leo tried to um, offer something. Or this person made a decision about someone else. They did not underestimate themselves. They took all their strength and got the hell out of, out of a situation that was no longer serving them, Gemini. This could be you, Gemini. Maybe you're going towards with the King of Swords. This could be you. Maybe you're going towards this fire sign, this Leo. Okay, you wanted to start something new with this person, but and some of you that that doesn't have to be the case. But keep in mind that the offer, like I said, it could be a gift. It could be a gift. Okay, is what I'm getting. Okay, now let's see. Is that is that all? I just want skin juicy. Is that all for my Gemini's? What's going on? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, Page of Cups. So, whoever this queen is, somebody could be bitter. Somebody could, be, like I said, be uh, leaving another situation to go toward the fire sign. Like I said, oh, water sign. But I'm definitely seeing somebody mad about somebody abandoning them to go towards someone else. Period. Okay. Somebody didn't abandon the masculine. Masculine could have been with somebody, ended up trying to leave them, but. That person they want to leave that person for is probably already another situation, but they end up leaving that other karmic anyway. <sighs> okay, cool. All right, that was a lot of messages. I'm sorry. If you was like, what, what, what are you, what are you talking about? There's a lot of messages coming, you guys, and I did not want to miss those messages out. So we have Aquarius. So you could have been there with Aquarius, another air sign. Okay. That was Saturn, but I want a Pacific sign. Sun, once again, Leo, what I tell you. All right, what other signs was Gemini dealing with? What other signs was Gemini dealing with? One more sign. Ah, uh, one second. And a water sign. See, I told y'all somebody was dealing with a water sign here. So all the signs that I even mentioned previously in a reading and a spread, definitely it. So another air sign, Libra, um, Gemini, Aquarius, Leo, and a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. All right. That's all I have for you guys. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Please comment and subscribe for your girl. And if you'd like to donate to my channel, please look in the description box below. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.